What's up guys? So I'm jumping on the bandwagon today uh, and theorizing what I think the third legendary for Pokemon Sword and Shield is going to be. Um, I'm extremely excited for these games. So yeah, let's. I've watched a whole heap of videos and stuff, so let's get straight into this um, and I will give you guys all the um, predictions and stuff I've heard and then what I think is actually going to be the, uh, the third legendary. I said I've watched a couple of videos, I've read a couple of articles, and there seems to be some common uh, themes and stuff in people's predictions. Those being um, Norse mythology, which obviously the fact that Galar is based on um, Great Britain, um, and that the, the, the Britons were invaded by the Saxons, who were Norse, makes sense. Um, and then obviously the naming relating to um, the CMYK colour scheme that colour printers use. Um, and that's pretty much what it boils down to. Um, so going off that, um, and I hope I'm pronouncing these correctly, Gary and Freki are Odin's wolves, uh, and when he's sitting on his throne, they sit either side of him, one near his sword, which would therefore be Zacian, and one near his shield, which would be Zamazenta, hence the sword and shield wolves. Um, and then Odin himself holds his spear, he wears his crown, um, and he has his two crows, Hagen and Manu. Um, and considering that in the trailer we got that introduced um, Zacian and Zamazenta to us, showed that they were preparing for an assault from above. Um, yeah. It uh, seems very likely that a raven could be the third legendary. Um, and considering that we've already seen Corviknight, um, which is basically the taxi service in Galar, it's a, I think it was like a seven foot crow, so it's like, according to my height, it's like here. Um, massive thing, and you sit on its back and you get to fly around the region, which is kind of cool. Um, it's going to be really really fun to do to, to take the taxi in the Galar region. Um, but considering that we've already seen one, having a third one seems kind of likely, considering that it was also black and that cyan and magenta have already been used. Yellow seems to be the prevailing theory. Um, the other thing is that pronunciation-wise, Zacian and Zamazenta, apart from the ZA at the beginning of the name, are pronounced the way you would pronounce cyan and magenta in Japanese, so they haven't been um, affected, leading me to believe that whatever the third one is, is going to be named um, either Zaki or Zakiro. Um, personally, I like the sound of Zakiro. It has two eyes in it, so it would also have a really cool spelling. Um, and if it's uh, like if it ends up being a crow with something to do with a spear, that would make sense as well, because it would bring in the sword, the shield, and the spear, um, which is not only the weapons of Odin himself, but it's also um, what the phalanx soldiers in like the Roman army and the hoplites in the Greek armies used to carry. They would have their sword as like their sidearm. They would carry their 
spear in one hand and their shield on their other. Um, that way, if your spear was broken or you had to throw it as a projectile weapon, you were still able to fight. Um, so a spear certainly seems likely as the third inspiration for the third legendary. Yellow is obviously going to be its colour, so Zakiro seems like a very likely name. And if it is a crow, that explains why it's coming from the sky. So the only thing left it to discuss, really, is the one thing no one seems to be putting two and two together with out of everything I've read. And that is that the sword is literally the symbol of attack and the shield of defence. I mean that the only other stat of importance, and I actually looked this up, I searched statistics on Bulbapedia, um, and it came up showing me attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed, leading me to believe that if it's in the sky, and therefore is not being hindered by things on the ground, it's going to be able to dodge very quickly, and so it will basically take on um, sort of the speed aspect of attack, defense, and speed. Because special attack, special defense are just the same thing with special abilities. So we can sort of sit that aside, because they're already legendary, they're already special. Um, but that then brings me to the fact that the uh, official uh, descriptions of Zacian and Zamazenta is that Zacian's sword um, can cut through anything and Zamazenta's shield can block any attack, meaning that we've got perfect offense versus perfect defense. So the third one's going to be perfect speed or perfect agility or something like that. Um, but we've basically got unstoppable force in a full object paradox going on. Um, so in order to keep sort of the paradoxes going, I feel like we can draw inspiration from another paradox that involves dog-like creatures, like um, canines, and that is in Greek mythology, there is Lelaps and the Tumesian fox, where Lelaps is a hound that can catch any, like, any creature, it's the perfect hunting dog, but the Tumesian fox can never be caught by anything, um, meaning that it has incredible speed. Um, these two dogs obviously therefore chase each other around for eternity, and Zeus decided to, in order to sort of end the paradox, which, as if you know anything about paradoxes, could potentially break the laws of the universe and have us all being sucked into oblivion, decided to um, put the, put these two dogs in heaven as um, the stars um, Canis Major and Canis Minor. So we've got two dogs that are now stars and yeah, um, I mean it fits with the, the whole being wolves and wolves are pack animals more than, more than two, um, so, yeah, I kind of think that if it is going to be a wolf, that perfect speed would make sense if it's, like, come running down and, like, left, because of the velocity and the force and science, it would, like, have launched itself, so it would, would be able to come from a sky attack, um, but it also means that despite having perfect attack, you can't really hit it. There's nothing that says Zacian always hits its target. So the perfect speed is a perfect counter to be able to attack, be a perfect, the perfect attacker whose defense stats would be really low. And you might have perfect defense, but there's no point in having perfect defense and being able to block any attack coming your way if you can't also deal out good damage and I feel like if he's supposed to be the shield Pokemon, his attack's not going to be so high. So Zamazenta, even if he lands an attack, isn't going to do much to Zakiro. Um, meaning that 
it's literally going to come down to a three-way debate of what is better to have, perfect attack, perfect defense, or perfect speed. Um, and I kind of feel like that's what they're going to be called, the, at the attack, the defense, and the speed Pokemon. Um, similar to how um, Palkia and Dialga are the time and space Pokemon, um, and Solgaleo and Lunana, Lu Lunala, ugh, when my mouth wants to cooperate, um, are the Sun and Moon Pokemon. I kind of feel like that's th what they're going for here. So even though it might be Sword, Shield and Spear, which, as I said, is a projectile, it goes through the air, and it is a faster attack than having to physically run up to attack them with the spear. You can just throw it, and the attack is done. Um, but again, there's no guarantee you're going to hit your target. There's no... It's simply just perfect speed, perfect attack, perfect defense. And yeah, that's that's my theory. I feel like it's going to be another, uh, another wolf. But I feel like it's going to have perfect speed, have... Yellow in its name, so there's a hero uh, as its name, uh, and have some design input from a a spear. Originally, when I was like, no, but it's attack and defense, so speed would come next. I was thinking that it'd have something to do with like boots and stuff for like armor, but then I was like, but boots aren't necessarily that important. The Spartans fought in sandals. So, like, it's not necessarily going to be, like, this massive grieve up its feet. Um, although, design-wise, that would be kind of cool to have it have these, like, massive feet that it can use to, you know, they'd be able to science it away with, like, traction, even on the slipperiest surface, to be able to, like, utilise its perfect speed stat. Um... So, yeah, that's just my theory anyway, uh, and I was just sort of surprised that no one had even considered um, attack, defense, and speed, which are literally the Pokemon stats, as potentially being the basis for three Pokemon legendaries. Um, if we were going to, ha if they, if, if I'm going to discuss typing, I kind of feel like. Steel is going to be a, a recurring thing with the three of them. Um, potentially um, fighting Steel, the Zacian, considering he is the perfect attack. Um, something like, I don't know, Ground, or maybe Fairy for Zamazenta, purely on the basis of protecting others with with a shield um, and considering that fairies are like the good ones um, and, and you can involve them using like friendship and stuff I feel like you know the power of friendship is an unbreakable shield or something I mean it has an anime and that seems like the kind of thing that they would use in the movie that it's anyway um, so for um, Zakiro, I kind of feel like, if not flying, um, you know, maybe I don't know. I mean, it would kind of be cool to see if they like make it into like a dragon sort of thing. I did see a whole heap of arguments consider, um, saying that it could be a dragon and not another wolf. Um, but, I don't know. I feel like they've always had a, a, a recurring theme for the legendaries. So, like, you have your legendary birds, then the legendary beasts. Um, the Reggies are all golems made out of a particular... Um, material, whether that be stone or ice or steel. Um, Groudon, Kyogre and Ranklaza are all sort of draconic beings. I mean, you've basically got a, a, a sea dragon, 
a land dragon and a sky dragon um, sort of biblical thing going on there with like the the the, the beast of the land um, beast of the land beast of the earth beast of the sea and beast of the sky um, so like it's always a, a, a recurring thing if it's all three of them so to have two of them be wolves and then one is like a dragon or a crow doesn't seem to fit with me so I definitely think it's going to be another wolf um, but again spear design incredible speed stat um, basically perfect dodge sort of thing um, yeah anyway I'm just starting to ramble now I think I've gotten my point across multiple times so if you enjoyed this video um, give this a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what you think um, do you think I'm I'm onto something as well um, if you haven't already Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when I upload a new video. You can check out my social medias in the description down below. Um, make sure to go and give me a follow. Uh, I am currently um, getting back into writing my Tumblr stories. So now is the best time for you to follow the link to my Tumblr um, and uh, get involved with that new story as I upload it. Um, I've got the next couple of days off work, so I'm going to be doing pretty much nothing but writing that and uploading. Um, so yeah, definitely go and check that out. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So until next time guys, night to A2, I'll check you later.